Luce, what's been going on with you and uh, Pistol Pete? Oh, Pistol Pete, um, Sugar Plum is 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 trying to discredit Black Sam, and he don't even know Black Sam. He don't so he usually Pete. nah, Pete ain't did that. Come on. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, the Answer Man. Ever since that viral Black Sam video, there's been a lot of things going on in the background with Big U. He wasn't happy about being implicated in that. Let's get to the content, and then we'll talk about it afterwards. Luce, what's been going on with you and uh, Pistol Pete? Oh, Pistol Pete, um, Sugar Plum is 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 trying to discredit Black Sam, and he don't even know Black Sam. He, he so he usually Pete. nah, Pete ain't did that. Come on. Yeah, so Big Useless got him um, another acquisition to push the narrative that. Um, Black Sam ain't who he is, and he beat. That's what Big U do. He he runs to a brick wall, bro. And then wait, yeah, wait, Nipsey wait. Why would he? Well, Black Sam is Nipsey's brother. Yeah. So what do you mean he not who he is? <laughs> well, I, I don't. Why would? I don't know why Pistol Pete would even involve himself in. <clears throat> it, it just don't make sense. Like I don't. Pistol Pete sticking his nose up in, in something that he don't even understand. And Pistol Pete didn't even tell DJ Khaled or Fat Joe that he was bringing Big U to the uh, to his dinner. How do you know that? You said, how do I know that? Because um, DJ Khaled's assistant told me. Oh. They said they were, just as, they were just as surprised as everybody else. You see, DJ Khaled got up out of there. Yeah, he ain't paying no mind. Definitely. Bozo. And then the show doesn't even have a gift. <laughs> yeah. So worried, <laughs> Big you so worried about being on the camera. Like he able to come outside, nigga, with that federal case with no ankle monitor. I forgot to bring a gift, man. <laughs> no, but you, you know the crazy part, too? Six is like, he's so goofy, right? Because... <laughs> Why wouldn't you bring an extra change of clothes? Why would you wear a jersey to a dinner? They all dressed up and everything like that, and you wear uh, a jersey and some sweats. Beyond goofy. beyond goofy, bro. Had that jersey on all day. All day. I hope Big U ain't trying to pull a pistol off, boy. I guess you already did, because... <laughs> I can't even see Pete speaking on Black Sam. He don't know Black Sam. That just, I don't know. Yeah, he that pulled him. Sound like Pete, man, just don't. No, he pulled him in there because even the, the day when he was out there, would you on FaceTime? I mean, you on live like a little kid trying to prove a point. And, and, and Pistol Pete is, you know, he, he over there vouching. Like, bro, you don't even know what you vouching for. Somebody well, you know will do that. something to you. You know the odd part about it, Six. Remember I told you when he was walking through the suite, talking about the suite they got him. First thing I noticed is the two bedroom suite, right? Next thing I noticed while he in there talking, another come through the door. So if another could come through the door, that means he got a key to that room because right. you're his guest. Exactly. Right. He's not yours. That's exactly what it you know is. You know what I'm saying? Because Big U would have reacted if that was just his room. He'd have heard that door. He'd have reacted on that lot. Right. Right? But he know he's the guest of somebody. It makes sense. That's crazy. So he just did a... Well, I think we was on him back then. Oh, that's when you re, you revealed the uh, DJ Khaled play. When yeah. he sent you at Khaled. Oh. So he tried to go out there and show like it was something else. Yeah, you know. yeah at that's the weird. end of the day, and he, he's so much of a bozo. He was probably sleeping on the couch like a... You get what I'm saying? That's what we... Man, with the whole dude. Well, no, no parts of that drama, bro. No, no parts of that. Group None. Group. That's why he, he wasn't even paying it, no mind, no attention. And post that nothing. They got a part of there. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that social media enthusiast put everything on social media. Then want no parts of that. We about to hop on this private jet in a few hours, and they got a part of bro. Him and Fat Joe flew somewhere. But why I would think he? That, yeah. On, on Black Sam. Because he's trying to make Black Sam don't look credible. You get what I'm saying? Well, he, he don't like to... their family, bro. You know, he hate on Nip. You know what I'm saying? He hate he hate how they really, really 
stood on what they stood on, bro, and got the respect Thanks. from the homies, respect from the city, the country, and the world, bro. And and they didn't involve that nothing they had going on. Covered the world and made millions of dollars, and they didn't care about what nothing nigga was talking about, bro. That's definitely the look he's been trying to get. Yeah. yeah so, so anytime, he, anytime he, he can sabotage, get somebody to join his bandwagon, that's just what he do, bro. You know what I'm saying? But he tried to put out the case. You get what I'm saying? With um, um, Black Sam. You get what I'm saying? And people didn't understand that my cousin China, she just, you know, she was trying to get her, her child back. So it was a play. Oh! What's up with China, man? No, she doing good. She, she, you know, she just All working right. and stuff. Yeah, I ain't talking. I ain't talking China in a minute. All right, y'all. There it is. Now it appears that Big U still has a problem with Nipsey Hussle and Black Sam. Now, as you remember, Black Sam did that viral interview, millions of views, in which Big U was not named, but was insinuated to have something to do with what happened to Nipsey. Now, the reports are that Big U was trying to undermine Black Sam's credibility by alleging some dishonorable acts from the past. Now, let's take a trip down memory lane for those that aren't familiar with the story and how exactly we got here. Big U and Nipsey represent the same California set and Big U served as Nipsey's manager. That's pretty common knowledge. But there's a suspicion that Nipsey always wanted to separate but his affiliation and Big U's rank in the 6 O's made it very difficult. One major example of Big U's influence was the situation where Nipsey brought DJ Khaled to the set, not knowing that Big U was going to have him pressed and then swoop in to save the day. All of this so he could establish the direct connection with Khaled for any type of future moves and let him know who the real muscle was in Cali. Now, this is according to Luz Cannon, who was the point man for Big U on these types of plays. Then there's the rumor that Big U made a call an hour prior to the Nipsey tragedy, claiming he heard Nip had passed. In addition, there was a live stream where someone in the chat said, R.I.P. Nip, Big U read it out loud, smiled, and then followed with this creepy laugh. Now, lastly, according to WAC 100, Big U tried to up his percentage from 10% to 30% of Nipsey's earnings shortly after his passing. WAC 100 denied him on this, and apparently that was the beginning of their falling out. Now, all these factors point to why there still may be some acrimony between Big U and the Nipsey camp. We'll definitely keep you posted. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, The Answer. Till next time, we out.